If you're new, I'm Joe. I'm Tom. I'm Patrick. And I'm Will. And this is Reggie, our Frenchie, star of the show. Yeah. So this is episode four, so I thought we'd try and get introductions done properly. So uh, we've got our cameraman here, and then we've got uh, our video editor, not Reggie, Will. <laughs> Um, and today we're going to be tackling the welding and we're going to be hitting the frame with the treatment, finally. Yeah, so me, me and the kids are going to get our paintbrushes out and we're going to um, apply all the, the rust, rust treatment. Um, so hopefully then the frame is totally done and there'll be no more talk of rust. Woohoo! We've got our steps so just no more rust. I know, there's always more rest. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And hit the bell icon. <laughs> Roll video. Hi, so I'm just standing in the middle of the trailer. Um, what I'm going to do today while Patrick's out, he's out um, looking to hire or, or buy whichever is, works out cheaper. Um, a welding machine, welding irons, I don't know what they're called, welding things put the new pieces of steel in once you've cut the rotted, rotted pieces out so the way the doors are in the trailer that's where the rust was the worst and that's where it was sort of pitting and, and rotting away so those three, three areas that need replacing um, are all being ordered so they should be here Friday so in the meantime I am going to scrub the inside of this trailer um, it smells which is probably not something which is on top of the priority list but it's something I can do while I'm waiting so I'm going to try and jet wash it all, bleach it all um, and get it looking not looking because it's not going to look any different but get it smelling a little bit better and I know that there is a lot cleaner in here for when we start putting new bits, bits and pieces in so yeah that's, that's what I'm doing today all for the games. I've only, only now been able to get out here because I woke up this morning and the heavens had opened. It was horrendous rain again, my only day off this week. So I'm trying to be productive, trying to get some stuff done. Yeah, I'll see you later. section out um, I got another corner over there which I need to get done um, the metal should be here on uh, Friday and I've uh, managed to track down a stick welder um, I think that's probably going to be our best option for uh, welding this together so uh, hopefully it will be coming together soon 
no more rust. No more being rust. Door's uh, off. That was heavy, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that door was that door weighed a fair bit. That was a good at least half the weight of what the whole trailer weighed. <laughs> yeah, it was uh, pretty heavy. But um, yeah, we'll uh, just keep chipping away now, cleaning up all this metal, and uh, we should be done. Hi guys, good afternoon, welcome back. Um, it's the next day, um, so I've got two lots of good news. Um, I passed my uh, DCPC, so I can now drive HGV, HGV lorries. Um, and the other lot of good news is we got some metal in. So, um, making progress, making progress. So, I, I ordered six mil, um, six mil thick, um, which is pretty thick stuff. So, um, as you can see there, it's Pretty, this is one of the offcuts, but it's pretty thick. Um, so it's definitely up to the job that we need to do. Um, so, well, there's not here till tomorrow, but um, I'm gonna crack on and get it all mocked up, put it into its positions, mark it up, and then just gradually get it down to the right size and the length that we need. It's almost there. I, I think they just give us a little bit extra. because <laughs> I did give the right measurements, but. Everything seems to be about an inch bigger than what I ordered, so I'm not going to complain, you know, it's better, better too big than too short, as they say. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm just going to get this all mocked up now, and uh, we're making progress, baby. <laughs> weather it's raining again so we can't do a lot um, so we're off shopping for a welding machine thing where are we going uh, we're going to machine mart um, and we're gonna pick up well we're gonna try and pick up a cheap uh, arc welder fingers crossed um, they've got plenty in stock so uh, we're gonna go and have a look and see what's best for us what will work better for us we were going to hire one, but they were just taking forever, the company, to get back to us. Um, and we probably need it. They ghosted us. Yeah, they did ghost us, yeah. Um, we probably need, need it again. Yeah, Just exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, we? from what we'd pay for renting it or for, or for hiring it, you know, we buy a room and then we've always got it. We don't have to worry about hiring it or, well, or you know, borrowing it from someone. Well, that's the plan anyway. Lucky is PD, hey? <laughs> we'll see you in the shop. Bye. Material that we need, so the welding, the welding rods. Um, we got the uh, 2.5 milligrams, uh, 2.5 millimeters uh, welding rods, milligrams. Milligrams. Oh, yeah. Tablet <laughs> um, And then we've got the welder, which is uh, should be perfect for what we need. Um, it's uh, uh, 145 uh, amp, uh, putting out uh, maximum 145 amps. Push out so it's perfect for welding what we need to weld. 
Um, and it should give us the penetration that we need in the metal, so we're laughing there. Oh, so, so that's uh, the science bit. That's the science bit, yeah. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> so we're home. We brought the welder. Is that what it's called, welder? It's a welder. Because I don't know the bloody name. It's an arc welder. An arc welder. There we are. So the boy is practicing. <laughs> the boy. The boy. Who's she like? I weld every day, but he needs to practice. So I'm just going to film, <laughs> film him um, practicing. Yeah. yeah. So you, you can Let's see. Come and have a look. Yeah. So I'll turn turn him around, and I will walk away and close my eyes. Um, but yeah, watch him do do his job. You need that. I do need this. I am your leader. <laughs> Go on then, go for it. And then, so what we got here is the arc welder for the welding rod. And I'm gonna just complete this bead here. I'm gonna go along it and see how, see how it turns out. Um, I am rusting, I am, oh, I am rusting. I am welding good metal to rusty metal because that's what we're doing. <laughs> I have cleaned it up as best I can with along the weld where I'm actually gonna be welding. So we'll see how, see how we get on. Yeah, I'll close my eyes and look away. Sorry about the wind, everyone. Oh, very windy. world you'll ever see but it has penetrated it's gone right through the metal. Oh, take it off off for a second yeah i'm gonna do some fandangle movements with the camera it's the messiest world you'll ever see but once the slag comes off it it'll be looking nice you can see it's penetrated sorry um just because the camera is at a weird angle you can see the metal's gone like a purpley blue, purpley red colour on the inside, and that tells you that it's penetrated right through. So happy days! <laughs> a couple more practice runs, I think. <laughs> well, this escalated quickly. We're now welding in our first piece. South Wales, it is raining, pouring. As you can see. So I'm shopping again today. So I've been to the tool station um, because we needed the treatment for, for the rest. So I've bought two bottles of rest converter. Um, the tool station were the, were the cheapest around our local area. We had a little look in because as you know we're trying our best to do this on a budget. So we want to try and get all our materials as cheap as we as we possibly can. So it was re they were really good actually. We just did a click and collect um, online and they were just ready for me to pick up. It literally took seconds so yay for the tool station. I was well impressed. So we'll see how this stuff works. Um, it comes in 250 mil. It looks quite liquidy and sort of water-based. So I'm just going to paint this onto the frame once Patrick's finished welding all the new pieces on. He's nearly done now. It's just a bit difficult when it's raining. It's raining so heavy all the time. It's hard for us to get anything done because we haven't got a garage or anything like that. So everything's outdoors with a little mix makeshift gazebo that we got. <laughs> Um, so it's important that we get this treatment on the frame because obviously the rain is just it's just going to make it rust even more. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. See you later, guys. So 
So we finished uh, putting the rust converter on. Two jars all gone. So all the um, frame is all done. So it, it says it takes around 30 minutes to dry. Looks purple now. It's turned into like a blacky purpley colour. Your little uh, view. So as, uh, as soon as that's dry, we can put the paint on. So we're just gonna paint it black, what's the paint? It's just black hammerite paint. Um, it's for raw iron and stuff, so it's perfect for what we need. Um, I've managed to get all the angles cut, so everything's been mocked up, all the metal's all mocked up. I'm just waiting for this to dry, and then I'm gonna weld it in. And then we're gonna paint. Progress! Woohoo! Nearly done. Oh, yeah. Nearly finished. Who yeah. wouldn't want to buy gym from this uh, trailer? Yeah. It's <laughs> looking, looking very <laughs> gym bar esque. <laughs> <laughs> Is it goodbye? Yeah, it's high on goodbye. It's our time of day, but we have to say goodbye. Yeah, I'm fed. I'm absolutely fed as with my bugger welds. It's disgusting. Welding is very hard. He's doing a good job. He's yeah, so hard on himself. but it's ugly. It's all right. It's not ugly. The outside's gonna be all right, but the insides are gonna be ugly. But they're gonna be functional. That's the main point of it all: is making sure it's functional. Yeah, you're not gonna see it anyway. Exactly. Anyway, Joe's been painting. You can see the frame. Hammerite, metal paint. She's scared to put it on the outside. No, he's told me I can put this black paint on the bottom of the outside. The outside of the This trailer. area, this area, just so you can see. The bottom lip, yeah? Just that bit, stop it rusting while we, while we decide on the color and do the rest of the trailer, to be honest. So, if it becomes a problem and we try and cover it with a lovely pastel pretty colour We're going to be spray painting You're my witnesses, it's all on him We're going to be spray painting it I just, I just think black is a bit harsh So anyway, it's bye from us Good night, God bless Bye Like and subscribe Yeah, don't forget please Prescribe Not prescribe Prescribe Subscribe I think I'm in work. She's been in work. Subscribe, please. <laughs> oh, you come to the rain.